Good morning, Bulldogs. This is another one of our animals from the Gammon Farm. This is uh, Evangeline. She's a Nigerian dwarf goat. Uh, we raise these on the farm. She's about eight months old. People asked last week, a couple people asked if they come in the house. I mean, she is in the mudroom right now, so she's kind of close, but I know they don't come in the house. She's a pretty good girl. Um, like I said, we raise these. Uh, they don't get much bigger than this. Maybe a little bit heavier, but it's about as big as they get. But uh, we definitely enjoy raising these on the farm. And didn't know she was coming, but this is one of our barn cats, Stevie. So Stevie got to show up too. You get to see a couple animals from the Gammon Farm. So I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, please stand for the morning ceremony. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Really today, I just wanted to continue a conversation we had last week. Uh, like I said, many of you that I've worked with in the past, either through uh, sports or different community activities, you've heard me mention a lot about uh, being positive, working together, uh, leaving it all in the field or giving your best uh, and having fun. And that fits right into our Paul Prince of Success, where we talk about pursuing excellence, uh, achieving academically in the classroom, working as a team, and showing respect and responsibility. So a couple weeks ago, we talked about being positive no matter what. Uh, when you have positive expectations, you anticipate good things are gonna happen, you start to think positive thoughts, uh, you react positively to adversity, uh, you take positive actions and good things tend to happen. Uh, and then last week we talked about the power of teamwork, uh, you know, that talent wins games, but uh, teamwork, working together, wins championships. And it's a fuel that allows common people to attain uh, uncommon results and working together also means respecting one another uh, and treating each other well whether that's on the bus uh, the classroom or the hallway uh, I know in the last couple of weeks I've spent a lot of time uh, mainly with some of our, our younger uh, male students in the sixth and seventh grade some of the boys in that level uh, not treating each other well I hope you're realizing that that's not going to be tolerated um, and if it continues not only will you get consequences but you won't be here that's not what we do here at Livonia and you can follow the example of the older students around you if you want to see what, how you're supposed to be acting. Um, and working together carries over into the classroom. We talked about that. Uh, you learn the most when you're talking to each other, working together, teaching each other. That's when you learn at the highest level. That's when your brain works at the highest level. That's why so often you work in groups and classes, you work with partners, because when you discuss and teach each other, that's when you're learning the most. Today I want to talk about um, leaving it all in the field. And what does that mean? It means giving your all. It means pursuing excellence, and that's part of our paw print. Uh, a lot of people talk about the pursuit of perfection. Well, perfection is not always attainable. Um, but if you chase perfection, you will catch excellence. Uh, perfection is one of those words we tend to use lightly. Um, but really, it's, you, know, you can get a perfect grade on a, on a test or a quiz, um, but almost nothing in life is perfect. You talk about a perfect game, uh, maybe a big win, but even if you win a game 50 to nothing, um, it really wasn't perfect. Uh, you don't make every shot. You didn't make every pass. Uh, you didn't do everything right in the game, even in a big win. In baseball, they talk about a perfect game, a pitcher throwing a perfect game. Uh, that means they never let anyone get on base during the course of the game. Or was it really perfect? I mean, did they throw a perfect pitch every single time? Probably not. And they say practice makes perfect. Well, it really doesn't, but practicing the right way will make you better. So even though perfection may often be a moving target, something you never reach, uh, in your pursuit of perfection, you will become better. And as you get better, you also get better at getting better. And that's what pursuing excellence, perfection is all about. It's continually doing your best, whether it's in the classroom or on the field, in a band or chorus. It's about continually doing your best and continually doing, getting better. It's about focusing on doing your best work. It's about focusing on continuous improvement, no matter what. Even in the big wins, even when you get an A on a test, there's probably something you could have worked on to get better. And the really great ones focus on getting better no matter how well they perform. Even when they have a great game or a great test or great quiz, they still work on getting better. And those are the best people in life. 
And you learn that, see if I can move this a little bit here. It's not about the destination. It's like I said, perfection is tough to reach, but it's about the journey. And it's about the effort you give along the journey. I know I've enjoyed um, spring sports. I know we're kind of cramming some seasons here together. It's great to see everybody back on the court, um, back on the field, doing what they love. Uh, hopefully we're going to have a musical here happening soon. A lot of great things happening. Um, so it's great to see that. And I, I love having the YouTube channel. I've got to watch so many um, great efforts. Got to watch the uh, Modified against Bath. Got to watch the girls basketball against uh, Hornell. So, um, you know, uh, boys basketball against Leroy. What a great JV win that was there in the last second. That was amazing. So uh, great pass there by Connor Farron there at the end. But uh, that was a really a fun game to watch. So having that YouTube channel, uh, I hope you guys get on and subscribe to that. You get to watch a lot, a lot of games you normally wouldn't get a chance to see because they're away or, you know, they're not in Livonia. Um, and they're happening every night. A lot of games crammed together, but it's really cool to be able to watch you guys perform on the field, on the court. Um, as you wrap up your seasons and roll in the new ones coming right away, uh, just remember that championships, great seasons, maybe a perfect season, center around great attitudes. So just like we talked about, remember to stay positive, work together, leave it on the field. And that last part we haven't talked about yet, have fun. Something I want to add here too is um, we had a little bit of a situation last week and I want to celebrate these uh, three individuals uh, during one of the basketball games on YouTube. Um, some anonymous uh, coward uh, from another school uh, was posting some pretty rude, inappropriate comments during the game. And that chat was taken down, that chat feature. Uh, but before it was taken down, uh, these three individuals, uh, Stephen, Lily, and Colin, uh, stepped up and, and talked about how it wasn't right and it wasn't what we stand for here at Livonia. So I want to celebrate those three that, you know, it's, it's not easy standing up against people, especially in this day and age. Uh, there's a lot of anger and negativity around you. Uh, but these three, the high road, did the right thing and stood up for what's right here at Livonia. I really appreciate you three doing that because that's what it's all about. That's when change really happens. So here's your quote. Hope you guys have a great day. Uh, quote from Vince Lombardi, uh, perfection is unattainable, but if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. Have a good day, good day Bulldogs. Stay safe and uh, see you next week.